<laughs> That's a weird idea. I don't know. <laughs> well, it depends on how many pencils or erasers I have to pay with. So you've arrived at your destination, you throw the car in the park, and you run into the store just for a minute. Or maybe you didn't realize you can't actually park here. Either way, the bylaws don't care, and when you come back, there's a ticket on your windshield. Well, now the city of Las Vegas is letting people pay with school supplies. Some of the items include pens, rulers, and dry erase markers. The only catch, you have to donate supplies with value equal to or over the value of your ticket. Obviously, when you get a parking ticket, nobody likes that. People seem to like that, that if they, they have to pay a fine, at least they feel like they're, you know, giving back to a worthwhile cause. Okay, so is this the kind of thing people would embrace here in Vancouver? No, I think uh, funding for schools or anything should come through the normal channels. What, and I guess the school supplies would go to schools? Yes. Sure, why not? Whether it's paid with school supplies or some other type of donation, it'd probably be, uh, it's a good idea. Yeah, am I still allowed to dispute the ticket, though? <laughs> I don't think so. No? Then I'm not okay with it. So the reviews are mixed. But Vegas isn't alone. Back in Canada, Kingston, Ontario has actually been doing something similar during the holidays. According to information they sent us, the Toys for Tickets campaign, as they call it, collected 305 toys on 300 tickets, representing $7,000 in parking fines. Meanwhile, the Vancouver District School Board says this is not something it's currently considering. But in a statement, the city tells us it is looking at innovative ways of distributing parking revenue. City Councilor Sarah Kirby Young says the city also is already helping in other ways. So the city of Vancouver, for example, has been putting funding into school meal programs to make sure that no kid goes hungry. Um, and that's something that I think is a real priority. Um, and that's something I'd like to see us uh, make sure we have funding for first and achieve those goals. Uh, another question, are you, uh, are you a parking ticket collector? Do you find that you get these things often? Uh, uh, as of late, I've got a couple, but I'm not typically someone who gets parking tickets or speeding tickets or anything like that. So you got a parking ticket and you didn't pay it? I didn't pay it. It's still unpaid? It's still unpaid on a few cars ago. I'm a little probably uh, slow with paying them off. I have unpaid parking tickets. <laughs> and by the way, a parking ticket in Las Vegas runs you about 20 bucks U.S. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.